Reagan Adair and her family can breathe a little easier this holiday season. The Texas teacher started 2018 with over $3,000 in medical debt after years of migraines landed her in the hospital several times. Then you have the doctor, then you have the labs when you get blood work done. Everything changed last April, and it's all thanks to a golden ticket of sorts and Good Samaritans from the charity group RIP Medical Debt. Uh, it is the best gift in the world. Uh, when I opened this envelope on Easter Sunday, I thought this is the sign God has sent this I, and, and, and I am eternally grateful. Medical debt burdens hundreds of thousands of Americans like Adair every year. The charity's founders, Jerry Ashton and Craig Antico, spent decades in the debt collection business, but then decided to put people over profits, working with the Occupy Wall Street movement. The duo estimate that more than 43 million Americans owe about $75 billion in past due medical debt. So what we do is we identify the people that are either in hardship or poor, and we only buy those accounts. We don't buy the accounts that can pay, buy the accounts that can't pay without hardship. And then once we buy them, we wipe them out. We don't collect on them like we used to. We abolish them completely. Yeah, we put them into our debt cemetery. Our debt cemetery, yeah, exactly. The charity buys portfolios of past due bills for pennies on the dollar. Instead of collecting the debt, they send out letters letting recipients know their bill is paid. The debt has been canceled and abolished by using a donation. For they say debt collectors want their money, and hounding people who can't foot the bill is a no-win scenario. You actually take title of the debt, and but you don't do it one at a time. If I went to a hospital and said, I'm going to pay you $10 for a $1,000 bill, they would laugh at you. But when you add 10000 Ten dollars. Now they're they're looking at you seriously. For Adair, a Christmas miracle she prayed for: less stress, nicer gifts under her tree, and maybe a summer vacation. I don't care if it was the USPS and the postman was set up as Santa Claus. It was a nice and wonderful surprise. Adding, she's donating to the charity herself to help others, as she now owes a debt of gratitude. Vanessa Alvarez, The Associated Press.